I'm Greg Solder. I'm the owner of GBS Enterprises, based out of Bel Air, Kansas slash Ulysses, Kansas. I am the representative for Balin Building Products and Extreme SIP panels, structurally insulated panels. And we're in Montezuma, Kansas today at a job site built. It's a barn dominium for a farmer here that's building his residence and a little bit of a shop. Robbie has those, besides farming, likes to do a lot of cooking. So he has a commercial kitchen along with the regular kitchen and a smoker shack out back and a big pantry to store things in. But primarily this will be his residence outside of Montezuma for him and his family. And it's kind of a unique build where we take steel members, steel roof frame, basically a steel building, and we take out a lot of the steel, which you can see in the SIP walls around the perimeter. There is no steel columns or posts in that. All the steel is in the roof, then uh, the structure, and, and then the SIP panels are designed to carry that load so that we have a really super insulated house and a very, very strong structure combining those two types of building products. A SIP panel is OSB board on the interior with a foam, solid foam core and another OSB panel on the outside. Greatly increase the R value or also the U value. So we're thermally breaking from the outside, temperature transmitting in. It's very, makes a very quiet structure. We use an eight inch wall instead of a six inch wall because in our metal buildings, most all the girts are eight inch. So we can transition between metal wall, which we'll see outside here in a little bit in the shop area that's a typical metal building. Then we can transition from there to the SIP panel and our inside and outside plane are equal. So if we've got sheeting or materials going from one to the other, makes a very easy transition then. The, the other thing on these panels, they're two and a half times stronger than stick built. Typically, a stick built home that would look just like this, but stick built with the best insulation you could put in it in the exterior walls, our set panel will perform 50% better month after month after month over the stick built. The wind blows in Kansas, and one of the things we really like is a good strong wall. Uh, I actually have pictures of a home that was built in Galveston that went through a hurricane and every other home on the barrier island was wiped off, but the SIP panel home was still standing when they were done. So uh, out where the wind blows a lot, we like a good strong structure and I think we got it here. We stepped outside into what would be the shop area and if you kind of zoom around the outside, you'll see what appears to be a regular steel building with wall girts. We have put what's called simple saver or a high R value insulation up in the, the roof. Our roof system is a 10 inch steel purlin up there. So we've got that completely packed full of insulation. So we've got even higher R value than what the normal metal building would be on there. And then because this is out in the shop, we're not as concerned about that air tightness and that. And so we'll put the metal panels on the outside of the building and then this wall will be stuffed with insulation and then another blanket put on the inside. This home has been uh, designed with, if you look over there, we got floor heat system. So there's gonna be radiant floor heat throughout the floor in here. This will be closed in, but that's actually the smoker shack. Upstairs, this is kind of a area we're in right now is gonna be kind of a, will be a snooker table and a, a golf simulator area. That all, all the bedrooms go around and then in the opposite corner of this upstairs is kind of an area for kids to study and relax and focus on other things than playing snooker or golf. If you look now, you can kind of see the, the metal beam here in the center supports the rafter. Those rafters then go to the SIP panels and they go right through the SIP panel wall. Inside this wall is a post from the SIP panel company that takes all the load back to the foundation. And that's on both sidewalls of the, the roof. All the bedrooms will have sheetrock ceilings and finished down 
they have decided to keep the, the black Simple Saber fabric as the finish. Then all the beams are painted black and they'll kind of keep that steel look. There actually will be a steel railing that goes around the perimeter upstairs. And then they've got a wrap around set of steel stairs, custom stairs being built that will come from in here. This is Robert Stone. He is my building rep from Balin Industries, Balin Manufacturing. And you've had an opportunity to walk through this structure, hadn't seen it for a while. What do you think? Very impressive. I'm uh, noticing a lot of small stuff. They've got all the rafters up here buried in the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, so all the clearances <laughs> worked out, which yeah. is always uh, something nice to see. Looking at the initial drawings, uh, and, and, you know, it just didn't seem this large. Typically, on a two-story house construction, you build the lower walls, then you build your second floor, four joist setting on the lower walls, and then you come up on top of that floor and you build the upper walls. This entire house structure, the outside eight-inch set walls are continuous from foundation all the way to the roof line. The upstairs floor, these, these wood joists are, are actually attached to this inside of the wall. And what that does, that gives us again a better thermal barrier to the outside. We're very well insulated. Sometimes on a regular house, they insulate the walls in that cavity where the floor joists are. You don't always get that good R value. With this structure, we've got continuous thermal barrier from the floor downstairs all the way to the roof. This steel structure was completely engineered. The SIP panel was completely engineered. All the floor truss system completely engineered and it was all cross engineered between the three companies. So there's not a homemade and handy in this. Everything, every piece is made to fit together and work together. A week or two ago, it was very warm outside, and we didn't have this completely closed in. You walked in there, and it was instantly cooler. You could tell the difference, even with some of the holes open on it. The same thing's going to happen come wintertime when the snow's blowing, how much nicer it's going to be. A lot of detail goes into making sure it's properly sealed with the concrete. All the joints between the panels are sealed. Uh, we've got the tape on the joints on the inside. Uh, outside has the Tyvek coating on it. And then the finish on this will be an actual board and batten exterior, but it's a 24 gauge board and batten metal. So they won't ever have any painting to do. And it's a heavier enough gauge material that'll hold up to the elements. This is a project that's taken about four years of planning. GBS, Balin, we kind of started this cross engineering between the SIP panel and steel bit. And so we, we kind of have a unique process. And then Extreme Panel, we partnered up with them to do the panels. And we're, we're actually, we really love Extreme Panel. You always wonder, well, our beams meet, steel beams meet the SIP panels. And our guys putting it up, everything absolutely fit. It was like it was made in the same factory by the same crew. Two totally separate companies, but very well engineered and detailed. I'm enjoying this project in that we know how to put the metal building up. We know how to do the shell, how to thermally protect it and get it finished on the outside. To me, what was important is having the total project be uh, worked through and done correctly. And we'll go downstairs in a minute and we'll meet Andrew Yost. He is the finish carpenter that's doing all the framing and all the finishing and that. We like building these projects, but what makes it very special is to have somebody that can take what we put together and finish it and make it really into a really nice finished product on there. And Andrew Yost is the builder that's doing that. That's gonna be a pretty long porch over here. <laughs> the patio is a southerly exposure, so we've got that completely covered because that late day sun is, is pretty hot. We actually have an insulated panel on this end wall to mount the trusses on. So by late in the day, this patio will be fairly well shaded. We've actually put in what they call soffit purlins. So there's another set of purlins in there and we've insulated the roof so that that hot, hot sun won't be transmitting right on through so bad. 
but this will all have a finished ceiling in underneath here as well as the porch and all the way around.